Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Sales Copywriting and Content Marketing Hacks Podcast. I'm your host, Jim Elwes, along with my trusted co-host and podcast producer, Mr. Stu Smith. Welcome, Stu. Hey, Jim. So, Stu, this is episode 186. I don't have a cool rhyme for it. I guess I should go over and use the haiku genie to have it give me a cool haiku about Ooh. episode 186. That would be a useful tool for such a thing. <laughs> There you go. I have I have not done the haiku genie yet. I got I got to try that out. Well, absolutely, you do. Yeah, was, maybe I'll try to make a haiku post somewhere and put a cool picture behind it. And oh snap! Well, <laughs> we'll see what happens. It's, yeah, okay. Well, you talk amongst yourselves, and I'll do something real quick. <clears throat> um, so, what do you want to talk about today? Well, um. Let, let's talk a little bit about a little bit more in depth of the the genies, okay? Right, and and the use of this artificial intelligence as another tool in your backpack, right? Okay. And what what I'm trying to do is just help people understand that you don't need to be scared of this. It's not going to take your job. You know, in fact, it will probably employ more people than it lays off in the oh, long yeah. run. Absolutely. Yeah, there's going to be more people doing this. So, you know, just think of it as just another tool and none of the rules have changed, right? Your rules of doing business stay the same, but these, you know, AI genies that you have created can be a very useful tool to just helping you come up with something that is original. Absolutely. That can help you with your business when you need to come up with content or come up with some type of sales copy. Uh, or a poem. Or, or which, a poem. Which I will share with you right now, Stu. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For the special operations candidate. Oh. I'm going to read you a few of these, okay? Haiku. Now, I'm going to put on my best Mr. Miyagi voice, okay? Mm. Okay. Um, this is not cultural appropriation in any way. You ready? Okay, here's an identity-based haiku for your special operations candidates. Huh. Train with courage. Focus on your goals. Dream of success. It's not bad. Here's another I like one. That. I like that. Pain is temporary. Endure and don't give up. Triumph awaits you. Come on! That's good stuff, all right? If we had like a Spec Ops poetry contest, I'd be in the lead. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, you would be. <laughs> Run with passion. Never give up the fight. Unlock your strength. Okay. Damn. Yeah, those are pretty good. All right. There might be uses here's, for here's, haikus. Here's one more. Push through the pain. Couch commandos be gone. Dreams are yours to claim. Come on. Now, I don't know if that did five syllables, seven syllables, five <laughs> syllables. I don't even care. Okay. That was hot. Nah, that was cool. All right. So just saying, there you go. That was brought to you courtesy of the Haiku Genie. Now you could take, you go go get you some cool pictures to go with those. And there's your Instagram taken care of for at least an afternoon. I don't know how many times Easily. you got to post, but I mean, Easily. that's that's good stuff. And since, no, you're that's, already that's a, since you're already a member... I feel okay just sending you these. So if you no. want them, I'll I'll be happy to send them yeah. your way. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, something I have been playing around with, Jim, is you know, the one the blog post genie cuz I enjoy writing articles. Uh-huh. And then I put in a lot of um links to my store within that article. Uh-huh. So it is a very useful tool for me to come up with content, post it on all the social medias, on my blog posts, and it is a newsletter to my email list, you know, none of that has changed, but the process of coming up with this content has been a lot easier. Um, and when I say content, it is my content. I just had AI do a little razzle dazzle and I basically edited and added, that's how I call it, edit and add to each of the paragraphs that it, it puts out for me. And well, yeah. it, it, has, it has produced some really cool articles that I would like to share. Well, I, I would love to have you share. 
can I share a couple of thoughts right up front? Sure. Okay. And then, and then I'd love to have you share. But yeah. you just brought up something that I think is really, really important that sparked a thought that I just want to share with, with everybody. And that is, okay, here's the typical journey that someone goes on to create content. <laughs> All right. Now stay with me here because this is important. I'm going to take over the whole screen, but just for a sec, okay? Let me get over here. Just, just for a sec, I'm going to take over the whole screen. Or maybe not. Okay, here we go. So here you are, and you got to write some content. You're like, crap, I got to come up with some content. Well, I got to come up with an idea, all right? And then I got to sit here. What am I going to write? I mean, how am I going to write it? Well, crap, time's running out, and I, I need to get it done, and I'm never going to get this done. I suck. And now I guess I'll just write something, okay? And then now I got my first draft done. So that first draft getting done could take anywhere from 15 minutes to 15 days, depending on what you're oh, trying yeah. to get done, okay? But that's, if, if you can't think of it in terms of a blog post, think of it in terms of your term paper from college, okay? It, it's like, I, over here, I'm drinking beers, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and that's the truth. I'm over here drinking beer thinking, okay, this paper's due tomorrow. I guess I better stop drinking beer and start filling out note cards. And then once you get to that first draft, then you do a rewrite, or you should. Okay, it's a little better until finally, you know what? I got this polished up, and it's not too bad. The problem is, is if you think about the battery that you got to use with your time, attention, energy, effort, and all that other stuff, all your time, energy, and attention is used up getting here to the first draft. So you got this little tiny bit of time, energy, attention, and, and all that stuff to do the part that's most important, which is that initial rewrite, edit, and then the polish pass. And the thing is, this is where, this is your money shot. This is where you make all the money because you're doing the stuff like what Stu does, which he'll show you how he does what he does with throwing in links to other articles. He's got his calls to action. He's got his little ads, all that stuff that takes time. But if all your energy has gone from just getting to the first draft, then you're like the kid that got a D in English is like, hey, I got something, I'll throw it in and I can pass and at least I get to walk across the stage, okay, to graduate. So this is the old way of doing it. The new way of doing it, the, so would you agree, Stu, that the whole purpose is the faster we can get to this first draft, the better off we are, right? Oh, 100%. Right, so that's what the genies do. The genie gets you to that first draft 95% faster than jerking around with it on your own. So what does that mean? Okay, here's your whole battery. You use just that little bit, and now you got that whole battery to do these steps that really matter, which is to rewrite, edit, polish, and guess what? The last step is to distribute. That's why it's so important. That's where these AI tools and specifically the genies come in because you're not spending all your time, energy, and effort getting to the first draft. You're focusing on the stuff that really matters, which is putting soul in your content and actually promoting it out to the folks that can buy, try, click, sign up. Make sense? Oh, I love it. Don't erase that, Jim. Oh, I won't because this will okay. probably be the, the, this will be the basis of an entire webinar. <laughs> It should be because you know what that is. That is your avatar's hero's journey. Oh yeah, you yeah. Know, and um, I have the exact same lineup for my avatar. You know, for the fitness journey, the exact same journey, just different words. Yep. <clears throat> so that's the avatar's hero journey for content marketing. Yep. Or or sales copy creation. Sure. Yeah. So, um, 
So there you go. What was the question? <laughs> I don't think I had a question. Did oh, okay. I well, then I guess I was just mentally excited to go <laughs> through that little exercise. No, that I, I was just saying I was going to show you something, and then you you went off on my addition and edit editing editing and added, adding editing and adding there you go yeah. so <clears throat> Stu, yes. hey now would be a great time for you to show the folks some of the things you've been doing with the genies okay so as you, you guys may or may not know yet is there are several genies in there and the ones i have been primarily focused on have been the blog post genie uh -huh. right and it can spit out a nice you know Blog post. 500 to 800 word blog if you need it. Sure. Um, and I've also been playing around with the acronym Genie. Okay. But I've also been playing around with already acronyms I have created or that are already established and putting them into the blog post Genie. And oh. it pops out word for, I mean, line by line, each of the letters of the acronym, what you plug it in there to do. Okay. And it, it, it has been so much fun playing with it. And let, let me show you what I've created first. Okay. When I, I do that, but this is how I did it. So let me go into, okay. So first of all, you guys, can, screen. you guys can see this. Hang on now. Now they can. Yes. Okay. So this is uh, my hero's journey of the, psychology of it. It just reminded me. I, I created this up on PowerPoint as well. Real easy to create. You just plug and chug all those things in there and you got yourself a a nice uh graphic. Nice little graphic there to explain your hero's your avatar's hero's journey. I got gotcha. you. Monty okay. says I love the blog post genie. I also love the Q and A genie. Awesome. Yes. Well check out these because this is my latest articles here. So I don't know if you've ever heard of SMART, the acronym SMART for goal setting. I have. Okay. I didn't make it up, right? right. It has long been established as the <laughs> um, go-to acronym for making goals. And it stands for um, Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Timeline. Okay. And this... Before I show you that, let me um, let me go into this and show you this. I'm going to share a different screen with you real quick. Okay. <clears throat> because this is where I got it. Okay. All right. So this is the blog post genie. Okay. And what scroll I up did, so scroll scroll up just so people can see that it is the blog post genie. Just scroll up okay, to the yeah. top so people can see which one it is. Yeah. All blog right. So it's the blog genie. post genie. Awesome. Yes. Okay. And so what I did is I used my avatar, special okay. operations candidate. Uh-huh. Right. And what I did is instead of saying this is a topic for special operations candidates, I put in this is, you know focus on the topic of be smart in goal setting and put in these specific letters separated by a comma, right? And has a goal of becoming a Navy SEAL, aspiring spec ops candidates, all that same, all that is the same. Oh crap. So you, you hijacked it by not yeah. just putting in the other thing, but putting in the, you put, okay, I see what you did. That's see cool. Did? All right. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But watch what happens down here. Whenever you get your, you hit the build button, you go into this wish number three and notice mm -hmm. what it's creating specifically. It's a blog post about smart and goal setting, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic timeline. That's just a standard acronym that I put in there. You can use your own acronym. If you want to make up one, you can use the av the acronym genie. If you want to make up one that way. I uh -huh. did that by the way. Okay. And look, look what it comes up with. I mean, this was non-edited version of this. So what is SMART goal setting? SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timeline. By breaking down your goals into these five components, you can ensure you're setting yourself up for success. 
And it changed it a little bit. So it did measurability, <clears throat> attainability, realism. So it, it switched it up a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. But it gives you a little paragraph to go with. Okay. Right? For each one of these. Right? And now, let me... I'm going to shut that down real quick. Uh-huh. Can you guys uh, still see that? No. Oh, okay. You, when you shut uh -huh. it down, it goes away. <laughs> it doesn't go to my next one then. Okay. No, you got to... You gotta, yeah, never that's mind. the one that's thing right. about... Okay. That's, a, that's okay. Never mind. All right. Okay. So now you guys can see this. So this uh -huh. is my... This is my article. Uh -huh. So smart goals for spec ops candidates. And I played around with a few things, put in some links, right? This right here are my latest spec ops article or books. By the mm -hmm. way, that's a hyperlink. You can click it and boom, go straight to my store. Um, oh, there it goes. Sorry. Uh, and now it starts with the, the article itself. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timeline. Now, one thing that I have and the people have been a student of mine they understand i actually hate timelines so <laughs> okay because here's why because a lot of people set arbitrary timelines right. that have nothing to do with their performance right right they're just gonna say hey after i graduate high school i'm gonna go to buds well how about <laughs> hitting some performance numbers before you get there so what i do as i say instead of a timeline you set up a performance starting line. So that's okay. how I play around with that one. That's really the only real edits I did to this because there's my specific, do a cool picture. All I'm there. seeing, no, I'm not seeing that. All I'm seeing, it says Stu Smith Fitness at the top. I'm not seeing anything. Oh. Did you switch windows again? Let me see. I don't think I did. Nothing Why scroll. Are you trying to scroll up and down? Yeah. Hang Here, on. Try, try sharing that exact window mm -hmm. again. Sorry about that. That's okay. Now scroll up and down. Where are you, Jen? I'm I'm right here, dude. No, oh, no, no. Sorry, I'm not sure why it's not uh, showing on my uh, thing here. Let let me redo this again. Damn it! Okay. Sorry, I was okay. running. I was going so smooth, Jim. It's going so smooth. That's okay. Just getting a little excited. That's all. <laughs> Well, I've got something to show you after you get done with this. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of a couple of the genies that I made while I was gone. Okay. Um, so you guys right, want to so stick around for that. This one should be it. Now I can scroll. This says goal achievement is a process of preparation and progression. Yeah. Smart. Smart okay. is goal setting 101. And this is just, this. this is the whole article. And it uses each one of these. Part of the acronym, specific, okay. cool picture, measurable. These are like assessment tools that I have in here. These are all the fitness tests that should be part of your measurements. Another cool picture. So that's you. That's you kind of grabbing people into your web of students because as you as you link to those, that links them to other articles within that they can just kind of get lost in the world of Stu and keep seeing ads for your stuff. Oh yeah, okay. absolutely. And attainable, you know, these are not impossible goals. You can do all of these cool things. These are like recruiting posters. Mm -hmm. um, realistic, yes. Here's a little timeline about building, you know, going from inspiration to mentally tough and ready to go. Uh, but here's timeline. There's one I wanted to share with you. Finally, instead of setting a timeline for your goals, how about setting a performance starting line with a link right to that explains it. So, you know, they, that's really the only thing I changed in that whole acronym. And then underneath, I have this set of like template that goes into uh, what Stu Smith Fitness is, right? It's me. It's, uh, you know, what I do. These are the programs I sell. These are all the books I have. And it just keeps on going down, 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 down until you get down to the coaching options and, and everything else. So, damn. Yeah. So anyway, that is that's awesome. That's great use. That that was just one of <laughs> that was just one of the many that you did while I was three gone. Three I me. did. I did another one on. I did an acronym on graduate, right? Made it my own. Made my own one. The acronym genie made the the acronym graduate for me, and then I put it into the the genie, and it popped off the first draft of 
you know, my article for graduating spec ops programs, and then did another one on uh, graduates. Folk- oh, and the Ida loop. I don't know if I showed you that one instead of the OODA loop. Uh huh. I think I, maybe I showed you that one. It was uh, um, good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, I, I got a lot. I got so much, Jim. I'm I'm getting a little bit spun around in circles of like all the things I used it for while you were gone. Well, there you go. Well, let me add so, to your. Mm-hmm. Let me let me let me add to your thing. So one of the things that you think about like the word of the day and and acronym and all this stuff. It's all built around a a word. Well, what if you could, and and everybody's worried about the definition of a word. What's the definition of this? What's the definition of that? Well, here's the thing. Definitions mean different things to different people and have different significance to other people. So what if you could create the definition for your people? In other words, not just give them a generic definition for a word, but create a definition that is specific to your people and then use that as content, use that as blog posts. I'm gonna show you an example here in a sec, but the first thing is, well, Jim, what word do I choose? So like when we use the acronym genie instead of, oh, how do I come up with a word? Well, there's only about 627,000 words in the English language. I'm not sure about other languages and stuff, but what if the genie could help you choose words that were super appropriate? You think that would be good? All right. So. I'm going to share with you a couple of things. First off, do you see this? This is the word of the day suggestion genie. You see that? Sue? Yes. Okay. So what if we could get specific suggestions? So we'll just load your avatar. It's just made it. Stu's like the only one that has his own avatar in here. He's like, I don't have to load my avatar. The rest of us have to click load avatar. Um, And it's like, okay, my ideal customers are aspiring special operation candidates. And the number one immediate result they want right now is to crush a fitness test. So what would be some words that we could use, all right, to get, and look at this. Do you got a whole bunch of different choices? You want some authoritative words? You want inspirational, lighthearted, persuasive? What do you want? Oh, that's a new little feature inside of the genie you've never seen before. Look at that, right? We have a a pre-wish thing. Yeah, for tone. Choose one. Um inspirational so all right you, I, I like inspirational okay uh, yeah so now we click and we're asking the genie just to give us words that we could use in the other stuff so determined resilient driven fit confident prepared disciplined motivated strong committed not bad i mean I those like are that. words those are all good powerful words without you having to think we haven't used up our battery choose one Stu. i like uh confident Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, and then I'm going to come over to another one, the niche word definition genie. By the way, you can't access these yet. Nobody can. These are still in my back end. That didn't sound right. Um, (laughs) We haven't released these yet. And um, Susan, what are you saying? Are you talking to me or the help desk? What? I'm talking to you. It's what Chris always says. What? It gets you in trouble. Up your butt and around the corner. Oh, stop. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to load your avatar, Stu. The rest of us normal mortals would have to do load avatar and, okay. and load them in there. Okay. Now, what's the word you want to define for your audience? I'm just going to paste that in there. Confident. And these are aspiring special operation candidates. They want to crush a fitness test. And then give me two to three related keywords that you would want to, that, that would go with this crush your fit test, like like increase or decrease run or faster run times, more push ups, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. Give me a couple, three words. Yeah, you know, like faster, stronger, more efficient. Or are you talking about faster run? Yeah, like more, faster runs, yeah. efficient faster swim. runs, efficient swims, and one more. Um, 20 pull-ups. Maximum pull-ups. Maximum pull-ups. Okay, so now we're going to click build. And now look at this. Look at this. We got all kinds of neat stuff in here. We're just, Now we're just going to do a, a basic definition. 
So you choose, let's do tone. You choose a tone, I'll choose the other ones. I just can't read them. They're a little bit too small. How's that? Better. Okay. So authoritative, confident, confrontational, controversial, friendly, humorous, inspirational. Well, let's go confident since we're already in that phrase okay. anyway. So language we'll use will be, we'll just do concise because that's the way you talk. Um, we'll use an active voice and we'll do American English. American English, you say? That's right. Mm. Now we're going to start adding different language outputs. Hmm. Confident, having a strong belief in one's ability and qualities resulting in a self-assured attitude. Now, that's a basic definition. Let's create a definition for our aspiring special operation candidates who want uh, to crush a fitness test. So we'll use the same confident, concise, active. All right. Okay. Confident, concise, active, American. Going to have it <laughs> output American, American. All right, here we go. Let's see what it tells us. Confident, possessing a strong belief in one's own abilities and qualities, especially when faced with adversity. For aspiring special operations candidates, having the confidence in their abilities to succeed during a fitness test is essential. They must maintain an unwavering belief that they can and will succeed regardless of any challenges they may face. Now, look at that. That's nice. a little, there's a little Instagram post for you, right? It is. You know what it also is? It's mm -hmm. a great, if you have the letter C as part of your acronym. <laughs> yes. You could a create great, a definition for each one of those. That's a great paragraph for, right. you know, a, yeah. You can create that. And, yep. Absolutely. All right. Let's do the last one where we want to focus on this, who are also focused on these keywords. All right. So let's use, just so it's it's fair, we'll do the same variables. So as you can see, we got thousands and thousands of stuff, all right? Confident, a feeling of self-assurance in one's abilities necessary for aspiring special operations candidates striving to achieve faster runs, efficient swims, and maximum pull-ups. Damn. Now, look at this. Let's use more of a conversational one, and our voice will do, uh, let's do dramatic. Mm. And just look at the difference. Confidence is essential for aspiring special operation candidates. It gives them the courage to push themselves to the limit and strive for faster runs, efficient swims, and maximum pull-ups. With a strong sense of confidence, they're capable of unlocking their full potential and rising to the challenge. Confidence is the driving force that propels them to greatness and will be the key to their success. Come on. Damn. But do you see how being able to dial those in sure. creates a completely different result? I love it. And you're not going to jerk around with this with chat GPT. This is the kind of stuff that we're doing with the genies. It just makes this incredibly cool. So that's just a little tip of the iceberg, a little taste, as they say. I love um, it. But could you see you you saw right there? Okay, look, I could use the acronym genie, come up with an acronym, then take each one of those letters and or go to the word of the suggestion, word of the day, each suggestion word. genie, yep. find myself a word that starts with that, create a definition of each one and really dial it in. And now I got some crazy cool content um, really yeah, fast. And, and it's really fast too. Yes. And I it's mean, good. It is, it, it's, and you yeah. see how being, and, and again, I would encourage y'all, those of you that aren't members of, of copyingcontent.ai, aren't in con, cus, or, um, uh, content marketing scripts right now, becoming, transitioning to, <laughs> we're transitioning uh, to content and copy.ai. Um, go, go try and do that with chat GPT. Mm. Uh, you know, go see how much time it takes you. Because see, remember the whole thing we talked about, all about saving you time, getting you a better result. That's in our tagline. Better copy, better content, better results, fast. That's what copyingcontent.ai is. Um, not jerking around, talking to some stupid chatbot. So there you go. I tell you what's been really amazing, Jim, is I first heard of the word genie, mm -hmm. I think, right around New Year's. Mm -hmm. Right? How long have these things been out? Um. I don't I mean, know. Genie went or Genie, Genie. Susan, when did we release our first genies and stuff? It, it November. was November. November? Yeah. 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 Well, okay. I personally have really been playing with them since the new year. 
Because I, okay. I was in the middle of writing my finishing that book in November, December. So I, I didn't even play around with it. But since the New Year's, I have been all over those trying to figure out these genies. And they've been awesome. It's yeah. just been so easy. And uh, and it's been really fun because it's, it's, it's the- kind of what, what it has done. It is taking, uh, like you said, a lot of my energy and I'm spending it more on editing and adding critical components to that blog post Yep. versus spending a lot of my time. I still like to write articles from scratch too. It's not, yeah, it's I do too. Like, it's not like I quit doing that. Yeah. It is. In fact, I did one this morning before this podcast even started. Yeah. But the, the um, one that I'm running, the one that's running today in the newsletter that goes out to everybody, I 100% wrote from scratch. Yeah. Well, the the point is, I don't want people to you. Know, oh, did he write this with AI, or did he did he write this from scratch? It doesn't matter. It's a tool. <laughs> the whole point is, how fast can we get that first draft? And remember, this is where you make your money. You yeah. don't make your money getting to the first draft. Nobody made a dime getting to the first draft. Where you mm-hmm. make the money is in the polish, the edit, the rewrite, and the putting it out there in a way that actually and the distribution. That's where the money's from. This is an expense. This is income. This is an expense. Mm, nice. Okay. I, I'm going to write that down because I that's like that. important. That's good. This is an expense. This is income. Stop jerking around here and start making money. I love Ooh, that. I, like, I love that, actually. That's, that's good stuff. <laughs> um, cool. Well, that's all I got. Did you like your little preview you got there, Stu? No, nah, I love that. That that was a lot of fun. Yeah, there's that's and, just the tip of the iceberg, my friend. Yeah. And there's so many options, you know, and, and what I want to tell people is when they get into it first time, don't get overwhelmed with 20 different options to choose from. Let's just pick one, have fun right. with it, and then maybe pick another one. And then you'll start seeing how they can be related into to one another. And you can use one to help the other. And next thing, it makes it even faster. Exactly. So, so. Yeah. cool. All right. Well, that was good. Stu, if people want to get in shape, where should they go? Stu Smith Fitness. And if you are com. not a member of copycontent.ai, you need to be. Head on over to copyandcontent.ai and jump on the early bird notification list for when we launch. So, Susan, do you have anything to add or are we good? Do I need to bring you back? <laughs> she says no. Okay. Cool. So we'll see y'all soon. Thanks for joining us and we'll talk to you next time. Bye everybody.